Hey guys, what's up? I'm Justin. I'm Richard. And guys, what's going on? Um, Arrival Big Baseball Vlogs. Guys, we got a couple of videos we want to post tonight. Um, coming up tomorrow, we're going to finish up our... We're going to try to do some Prime 9 videos. Tomorrow, we're hoping to get to first baseman, second baseman, and possibly on Wednesday, it's going to be shortstop and third. And then we'll spend possibly Thursday, Friday, and possibly Saturday in the outfield. So, guys, we got a, we got a quick update. Or a, a suggestion. Is Jair Jurgens ever going to be a Brave after this season or at the trade deadline? Richard, this guy has been on the DL a whole bunch over the past two years. Is this guy losing his talent? Uh, yeah, well, I don't want to say losing his talent, but he's uh, definitely, uh, I don't know, uh, losing confidence or something because he has just declined a lot. Uh, in, um, yeah, 2009, he had like a 14-10 record with a uh, ERA of 2.60. 14-10 record, sorry, with a 2.60 ERA. And last year, he hit the DL again, like you said, posting a 7-6 record with a 4.64 ERA. I just think these injuries are affecting him. It probably is losing some something off of his uh, stuff as far as pitching goes. Yeah, uh, this guy has been in the league, what, three or four years or something like someone go on right there. Uh, he can't officially hit free agency until six years, around maybe 2013, 2014 is where he can officially hit free agency. But this has been a conversation that I've been asking a lot of my friends um, who are somewhat Braves fans, somewhat. Um, my friend is a huge Braves fan, actually. I was like, is Jair Jurgens ever going to, is he going to leave this season? Is this guy going to be traded at the trade deadline? Uh, he's a very likely candidate to be traded, and uh, I think some teams would take a chance on him. Maybe teams like Kansas City, since you know they have a deep farm system, they might trade for their less, lesser prospects for him. Um, teams like uh, the Pirates, uh, teams like that, that would take a risk on a guy um, like Jire. And... I, I don't know. I see him being traded. If not, uh, I can definitely see him gone after this. Uh, I can definitely see him gone sometimes soon, maybe in the off season. Yeah, this guy is back on the disabled list. He's projected to be reactivated. I think April fifteenth. Um, this guy has just been through like struggles this past two seasons. Last year, his season ended. I think it was in the last couple weeks before the season ended, uh, with a knee injury. He could not pitch in the playoffs for the Braves, even though the Braves lost. So, could this guy go to the Yankees? Because the Yankees are still looking for that starter. Um, they said they're still going to express options for a starter. And this guy has a chance of going to the Yankees. Do you think the Yankees could pursue this guy at the trade deadline? Uh, it's definitely not ruled out. I mean, the Yankees are an interesting case. Maybe. But uh, I don't know. I, I, I doubt it, I guess. Uh, I, I mean... Like, it is a possibility, but I don't really see it happening. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's interesting because Jerry Jordan would be a good fit for the Yankees being, like, their fifth starter over Freddy Garcia. So, I guess you could add them into the mix, too. Yeah, I mean, Ivan Nova, I saw him pitch today against Minnesota. Um, pretty decent outing. I mean, I really, I really hope he keeps that four spot. He pretty sure will. Um, but Freddy Garcia... Bartolo Colon made a debut, made his uh, Yankee debut uh, against the Tigers yesterday. He did not have a good outing, even though it's the, his first start of the season. He probably could rebound, so maybe the Yankees could pursue this guy. Maybe, maybe not. So, could you see Mike Miner actually taking his spot if he's traded? Uh, well, Mike Miner's still in the minor leagues. You got Brandon Beachy as the fifth starter. As of right now, I don't even think Jaya Jones has a rotation spot. I believe uh, they have, um, I know they have uh, Derek Lowe, and then they have uh, Tim Hudson. Um, yeah, uh, they have Brandon Beachy at the back of that uh, rotation. Let me pull up the depth chart real quick, so I can't remember who they have in their starting rotation off the top of my head. Uh, oh, Tommy Hansen, of course. Uh, Brandon Beachy, and I guess Mike Miner is filling in while Jurgens is out, uh, but I'd, I'd much rather have a Braves fan, I'd rather have Mike Miner than Jair Jurgens. Yeah, 
So there you guys have it. Is Gyro Jurgens a guy to keep or is he a guy to just trade off and try to get something going for this this Atlanta Braves team? Everybody says that they're going to make the playoffs this year as a wild card team or could possibly win their division even though it's like very, very, very close um, to the Phillies winning the division. So um, we'll talk to you guys soon. We have our power rankings coming up hopefully by tomorrow. We have our prime nine coming up. We'll talk to you guys soon. Enjoy your week. It's time for baseball season. I mean, this is only, what, the fourth or fifth game already for most teams. So we'll talk to you guys soon. Is Jair Jurgens the guy to keep, or is he going to be traded at the deadline? We'll talk to you soon, and we'll see if this guy's going to stay or is he going to be traded. Talk to you guys soon.